Okay, right, so welcome back to the Kara Kadrin campaign. Look at him, he's he's yucking it up over there. Good old Ungram Iron Fist. Uh, we moved into our home territory so we can start recruiting again next turn. Um, we're gonna move on Mount Gunbad. Uh, we killed a big bloody Spears army, so hopefully that'll make Kara Kadrin. What are you doing, Kara Kadrin? Why aren't you at war with with why aren't, why don't you have these? See, I, I did a test game where I was just kind of playing to test this mod and everything. And I came down here and I took these two settlements, but then you have a split province. And split provinces suck. Because you can't do proclamations, and you don't want to go to war with Karakadrin. I'm the High King, sir. Really strong, for one. Um, and eventually you want to confederate with these assholes. Very well! If, they can, if you can keep them from confederating with every other dwarf colony around you, so... My right now, if Zuffbar can avoid war. dying to the vampires, which seems like the vampires are taking on Waldenhorf. Man, in uh, another game I did, they just marched right over here and took out Oakenhammer. And then Zuffbar was like, hey, dwarf Let's faction, what you please, have to say. please let us we'll join. Hear it so they don't want to confederate, but they'll do, uh, we'll do a defensive alliance with them. And we'll do military access. Aye. And eventually we'll have... Ooh, Alliance. Go on then. You want to confederate? Maybe later. Maybe we're stronger. We're not a whole lot stronger than them because our army got beat up. But now we can see their stuff. And I think. I think technically, oh, they have a couple strategic resources. See, I've never really built in uh, Zufbar. I wonder what they have. This location is especially important to the dwarf realms. May provide a unique building change. We can't look at it because we don't own any of it. How's your garrison? Not bad. Might lose Oakenhammer to something, but also if we can keep them strong and full of trade, they will help us protect Grand Peak, which will in turn help us protect Mount Gunbed, which has a strategic location of value to the dwarves and the Skaven. That's the one I was remembering. I remembered the wrong location. Um, okay. Shaman blew himself up, or was nibbled on to death by a vampire bat, or a vampire bunny. He'll be back in a few turns. Unique brewery, that's fun. So yeah, so we're going to focus on rebuilding our army and taking Mount Gunbad, and then we might start bothering the vampires. Wintertooth declared war on Kislev. Kislev's a lot stronger than us. Well, it's about even. Bloody Spears are a lot weaker than us. That's good. Tempelhof's a lot weaker than us. What do we got? Nothing? Okay. Oh, this is a rough one. Well, we're not going to fight right away. A dwarven caravan has been ringed by goblin wolf raiders. A stalemate has developed, but the foe refuses to relent. Such a local affray should be dealt with by the local lord, but your intervention could speed things up. You smash the enemy. And you get raid prevented, which gives you leadership, because the warriors are relieved, but the populace has been left in disarray. Um, it may upset the balance of local politics to do this before the resident lord culls the clans, but the robbery must be broken. So basically, you say the hell with the politics of everything, and you just go do it, which makes people mad. Or you're on your own. Clan politics in the region are complicated. Interfering in this local issue could unbalance the situation and let them sort it out themselves. The local citizenry can deal with the raid, leaving the hierarchy intact. Meaning your warriors are like, eh, I wish we could go do something about it. But public order plus three is pretty good. Uh, whereas minus three is a pretty big penalty for right now. I don't want to deal with a potential rebellion. I mean, we're at 43. That's not terrible. Uh, this place is going up because of the brewery. Don't you guys also have a brewery? A brewery and a toolmaker. Toolmaker's doing work. Gold mine's getting upgraded in three turns. Uh, what are you doing? I guess you got a tool maker. Oh, we need to check. Let's, let's sort out the army it is first. Time. Okay. Yes, for slayer Our slayer is still expensive. New. No, apparently they're done with their pilgrimage. Our clan is overall satisfied. Our hero action success chance is up, and our growth of public order is up. So and we have the raid remains for three turns. Uh, let's see. We have, we have quarrelers. 
Let's actually swap this over to Master of Steel and Stone, which will make our recruitment a little better. Uh, you're going for public order boost. That's pretty much it. We've almost got enough oath gold to make something. Get ice cream and take it to them. I don't think the Wolf Riders like ice cream. Or maybe it's an ice cream caravan that's being raided by the Wolf Raiders. Those bastards. Now, if we sat in Mohawk Hill, we could crack down on some of the public disorder and make it, you know, make them happier, but I want to be close to uh, Gunbad. We want to take that stat, which actually, this batch of Quarrelers, we could probably do it. A couple of Warriors wouldn't be bad. They are fairly cheap. stronger. That's irritating. Damn vampires. So we have including related families. Nepotism is not a dirty word in dwarf society. The guild encourages it, for family honor is prized. And we'll have scrutinized guild leaders next, which is Masters of Steel and Stone makes recruitment even better. The Slayer in me seeks death. Sixteen guys. Can we reach them? I think we can reach them. Let's just go hit them. Oh, not quite. We can get them, in, get them next turn, though. And they don't have an army up here, and that's more the pity for them. Very well. This may work. Aye, right, I'll move. Uh, can you damage their walls, Yaru? That would Bring be lovely. Bring it down! Bring it down! Get you some extra experience. Get you another damage walls. We can just hit them. Um, money for anything. We're talking Toolmaker Guild. I believe we were. Uh, we could do Bugman Rangers here too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Double campaign line of sight. That's kind of neat. Oh, this is the. Um, what the shrine normally looks the Slayer Shrine, which lets you have a little bit of Slayers. Uh, and it does help your Untainted too, which is also good. Do a Trinket Maker. Let's see. You can't do nothing, and you can't do nothing. But you're happy! So more money is more money. You guys are, what, 200 bucks each? Hell yeah. Burn through a couple more turns. Cinnabar building gives us 100 gold, and it will give us a trade good over time that we can trade with Ostermark. Although, hopefully, we take Mount Gunbad, and then we can trade with Zuffbar, too. <laughs> I don't know if Zuffbar is producing any trade goods, but... We'll hope for the best. Barkvar is still alive. Barkvar usually gets taken out fairly early by the Greenskins. Or Confederate... Ooh, looks like Templehof lost. Oh, the Dwarves? No, that's Zephbar. What are you guys doing? The Bugman's Grudge. Win three battles against the following race, Greenskin tribes. Beheld in Grimnir's seething sight, Bugman's Brewery was once the greatest of all brew houses. We were talking about this. Where the fabled Bugman's Quintuple X was created a few casks of which still exist, but it all ended when the Grawbury fell upon the fortified brewery, enslaving and killing the Bugman clan, and worst of all, drinking the ale. Such an atrocity is a grudge that can never truly be settled. Go and slay Greenskins to salve this open wound. For 20 oath gold and 2,500 bucks. So you have a full stack of, of trash. Well, I mean, for the basic infantry. Of uh, that's not bad, I mean... You guys down here causing trouble. I'm a fan. Okay, so Castle Drakenhof is it's an epic building. Uh, you, you can build everything in this area. And uh, garrison details. This is its starting garrison. It does not have a garrison building. You can build one, and it gets worse. Uh, it's like, what, 12, 14 units? And most of them are Graveguard, which is their one of their elite units. It's a, it's a tough bitch to crack. Okay. Toolmakers? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a growth. Three turns for growth? Okay. Well, I guess we upgrade the two. 
toolmakers then. Let's get you back on growth. You're not building anything. Let's do that then. Oh, and our gold mine will be ready next turn. Can we do both? We cannot do both. Three turns for growth. Ah, uh, that won't help much. Get ready for next turn, though. Okay, you guys. What? Do we? Ooh, do we not leave enough? But it is will binds me to you. Screwed that up. Okay, fine. I'll do the barley fields instead, or the wheat fields, or granary, or whatever the hell it is. I'll surround the enemy in dark rooms. You do that. Uh, what else do we want? Scouting, maybe? Stark the runes. These runes come up more often. What do we got? How many breaches? Four wall breaches. That sounds uh, lovely. We could probably auto do this one. Attack! Bring! Yeah, trading with them is good, even if they don't produce any goods. That affects how much money they get. Uh, our trade goods determine how much money we get. So, it's just goblins and orcs. I don't know why the balance of power is so bad. So that means we got to fight it, otherwise we're going to lose all our slayers. So we don't want to do that. No, the, mo the only thing the mod's done is it's changed some of the minor factions to remove them from the game. That's the only thing it does. Um, it's also uh, editable. You can... Uh, um, like, you can control like which factions are removed or not, I think. It's really neat. Oh, look at all those holes. You guys are just gonna have a bad time. They have wronged us! Slayers! Yes! Dwarf warriors! They have wronged us! We demand blood! This is a reckoning! Quarrelet! The clans unite! Yes, Lord! For the ancestors! Quarrelet! We fire on your command! on the walls. I Let the vengeance begin! So Spinny is an orc boy's unit. This is their boss. If you don't have a general, it will name one of your just regular units as the uh, leader, and they'll provide whatever bonus something shooting at us. Oh, that tower shooting at us. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I'll we'll shoot them then. Quarrelers! Relentless and free! Shoot those assholes. Kill orcs! Get in there, you assholes. You crazy sons of bitches, you. Slayers! Bitches are reckoning! Trend them! So we attack! Slayers! War of vengeance! No! They have wronged us! This is in the project, though! Kill them all in Bayard's reach! Die! Yeah, they're, they're, they're dying. Slayers! Fast. Oh, nice, the words, man. Well, that was quick. Hey, where are you going, you shit? Where do you think you're going? Let's do 700 damage. Try 
try and shoot them? I mean, give it a shot. You guys try shooting them too. It's almost a total route, not quite. How are these? Oh, they're orc archers. It's like, how are these yeah, archers still archers. fighting us? It's like they're orc archers. They're a little tougher than goblin archers. And yeah, they're significantly tougher than goblin archers. Let's be These guys were done. See the uh there's a shatter. Nope, oh, I think there's dudes over in the plaza. Yes! Go get them. The um Stop, stop moving. Shoot, shoot them. Stop! Oh fuck, just yes. charge them. Yes. The goblins. Hit them with your guns. I don't care what you do. Just, just start killing them. You guys gonna run away yet? I think I can hit you with rocks from here. Trying to get a firing arc. Well, I can see the firing arc moving past them. Come on, guys. I believe in you. What about these guys? Can you hit these guys? Why aren't you guys trying to murder them? I remember telling you to do that. The clans unite! One's shooting. No, oh, they both had a shot for a second. There it is! <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, get get in the open. Get in the open. This would be great. You guys gotta quit shooting. There's slayers in the area. Whoa! That's that's fun. Look at that. How cool is that? Aww, I was having fun. I was having a good time. Yes. Slayers! Vengeance! Oh, hey, miserable yes. bastards. There's the shadow. It's my damn time. Yeah, we lost a lot less guys than we would have. That was fun. I liked that. Yeah, look at that. That was barely. That was a. That it gave us 50-50 for that fight. Cause eat a dick. Fluffy got 131 kills. That silver chevron slayer unit. Good stuff. And I did remember to record. Kazook, kazook. We've secured the rib peaks. Income from gem cutters and obsidian quarries. Well, that's that's okay. Enemy siege holdout time for a sapper. That's good. Income from all abilities nine percent. Well, that goes to Shaman as soon as he comes back to life. Arcane winds under control. And we got level up. Oh, what do we want? What do we want? Oh yeah, we need uh, we need obstinacy. Yes. Vigor reduction. It is a fun game. Oh, ta tactical games are hard to play on PS4, Xbox. They could definitely... I think they could definitely handle it, though. Like, spec-wise. That's not a bad little army. Could use some more regular warriors, but whatever. Now we have a 
barracks here. I don't want barracks here. Okay, so. A pressing concern is to get this place to level 3. At Mount Gunbad, there's a gold mine. Okay, that's important. There's the Brightstone mine. Brightstone is a highly valuable. It is therefore a pity that the mines at Mount Gunbad are infested with glow-up night goblins. Income generated 1,500. Income from trade plus 10%. Recruit rank plus 6 for artillery. Upkeep minus 5 for artillery in every army uh, in your faction. And it also gives you two iron breakers who are incredible units to guard your thing. So, yeah. So if you had a level 5 gold mine, it's 1,800. And that's 13, 1,500. That's uh, 3,300 gold from one place. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we need growth here like a mother. We need to beat two... Two more Greenskin tribes, so... Uh, they're so far away. Those dicks. We have to go fight them. I don't want to. Look at those guys. Oh well. Then we'll have our... No, we're doing steam. Oh, Well, I forget it was someone was uh, talking about really how they, me, they were trying to stream. The oh. uh, they were trying to stream, but then um, the game they were playing was like, nope, you can't stream cutscenes. Military access? I mean, I don't see why, but whatever, if it makes you happy. You can't come into the mountains without suffering attrition, so please don't. If I need to move through your lands, I'll let you know. I guess one thing I can do is I can go down and I can raise those bloody spear settlements. Uh, move a character to Zufbar. I could do that. Shaman Stumpy Feet's Master Engineer reporting for duty. Where is he? What yeah, right? that's Yaru. Yaru, go, go do the thing. Hi, this way looks better. Uh, Shaman, you're, you're over good. here now. Well, you're gonna head up to Karagun. Move! Well, we should level you up a little bit, especially since we're generating just a shit ton of money. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, but then you you have a computer anyway, and it's like, oh. To build something. Ooh, Carrot Kadrin can be upgraded, so can Mohawk Hill. Two turns. Okay. You. This two. That could be better. Can I have a public order? No. I'm on gun bed. Okay, you want to. Oh, I really want a gold mine. If I upgrade this, how many building slots do I get? Two more. Two total? Oh, two total. That's a shame. So we'd need to get that up to level three. Uh, let's get the gold mine started. Then let's get a barley field and another tool maker. I'm not going to be able to now, but I need the gold mine. How much are you? 3,200? Yeah. Need the gold mine. Upgrading that will give us a little more growth, so that's nice. Okay. So this will jump up to about 1,200 a turn, so that's good. This is neat. You can see all your stuff. So we're getting 1,300 from the northern worlds of the mountains. We get 264 from Peak Pass, but that's where we're building our armies at. Uh, the next nearest profitable place is Zufbar. And then 
Eastern Sylvania. Of course, they have a gold line. Um, you guys can we trade now. We, we did the thing. In. Let Thank us feast God. and drink, I suppose. You might confederate with us. But then we would have your debts. But you don't seem to be in a bad place right now. have an army, yes? Somewhere? No? You guys don't seem to have a weird... Because we're... Hmm. Come, come, we kid. Are... Let us feast and drink. Military allies. Can war coordinate. Where's my trade at? There's a thing that tells you exactly how much income you're getting from who. Hmm. I thought there was, anyway. 331 in trade. Yeah, he's got a full stack. No partial stack. Oh, lordy, and a bunch of heroes. We should probably start murdering them. Do I want to confederate that? And what can the Dowie do for you on this? They fight? definitely will. Ha! Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll sure. I mean. Aye. It's more land and more money. Greetings, honorable Alan. Hmm. Let's save, and if it goes badly. Because you get penalties for confederating, since you're getting a bunch of territory. What? No, don't win shit. Ah, we'll get their territory and all their buildings that are already built. We'll hear it before um, gold. And we'll get any units they have. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, of course, we're stronger together. So they accept our offer. Zufbar is now part of Karakadrin. Uh, and now everyone... We'll be mad, uh, minus 40, because they're mad that we, uh, re we confederated. To war! And, uh, yeah, so that's stupid. But, whatever. I don't understand that mechanic, but... Well, because you're getting stronger, and it's, uh, you know, whoever's the last one. Oh, we got, we have a character in that area now. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, and up here it also affects our uh, public order, I think. Yeah, diplomacy minus 40 with dwarf realms for five turns, and public order minus eight for five turns. Further confederation not a possible while this is in effect. Uh, we're getting 3,000 gold a turn now, though. Oh, they had an iron mine. That's good. And they've got a really good garrison. Holy shit. And they're working on their garrison for their other two places. It's not bad. Also, we're not at war with the vampire counts or anything. They don't like us, but... Anyway, this is the quest for the Slayer Crown. Move a character to the following region, Zuffbar. Dark clouds have enveloped the accursed province of Sylvania. Such a spectacle has not been seen since Count Manfred von Karstein, the vampire lord of the realm, was last vanquished. Now reports reach Ungram of sinister black-robed men roaming the high peaks. He suspects that death has regained mastery in Sylvania, and the interlopers herald the spread of its corruption to neighboring regions. The Slayer King will need to act in order to protect his people. We did that. Carry out a successful assassination attempt against one character belonging to the undead race. Ungram's agents send word that they have tracked two of the cloaked figures who appear to be necromancers, and have worked out likely locations where they might be cornered. There seems to be no good reasons for the necromancers to be roaming the high peaks, and Ungram sends word for his agents to act against them to put an end to whatever scheme they are engaged in. And we'll get some oath gold and some other stuff for that. Confederation. Okay, so... Let's see, what is this? Five turns? That's minus 25 public order. That's not terrible. They'll be fine. Uh, what about you guys? That's... you're fine. K 
Kara could dread my rebel, though. Minus 10 for 5 turns. Yeah, that's really bad. I do that. And uh, you guys can upgrade your toolmaker. Okay, what about... Gunbeds doing a bunch of upgrades. Okay, what do you guys got? So you got toolmakers, you got a brewery, you got a gear, uh, uh, walls. Oh, I really hate to get rid of 300 gold a turn, but I need walls. Because this is undefended territory. Um, did we... So we didn't get any units, right? We got Morik Death Dealer. The Lord is not leading an army, but is ready to be re recruited. And Barandin Stoneheart, who I think is the leader of Sufbar. So he must have been wounded, so he must have gotten beat up by the uh, vampire counts. It's fine. Iron Mine, level 3 warrior thing. Once this grows again, it will be able to do... Um, I can put an armory... I don't really need that, do I? Uh, Dromar. What is your uni unique building? So, okay, so far is fine. Dromar. You have Bugman's... Oh, it's Bugman's Brewery. Dwarf Beer Resource Production plus 100 kegs, so that helps with trading. Public Order 10. Recruit rank for Ranger units. Provides a garrison of Bugman's Rangers. Can't. Oh, so it's like this, I guess? Okay, so you can get Bugman's Rangers, you can get regular Rangers. Okay, so it's the same thing as the Ranger Barracks, except instead of movement buffs and sight buffs, it gives you... Oh, a construction time reduction for Ranger Barracks in, the, in all regions. That's kind of cool. That's hostelry buildings. Huh. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of nifty. So we don't... Wait, we do need the drinking hall? We do need a drinking hall for Bugman's Rangers. Well, we can do that and that, and then we'll put a, a wall. So, that sounds good. I like that. I'll go with that. Okay. Uh, who, who, what... Yes, yes, excellent. What do I want you guys to do? I mean... I mean, probably... I mean, growth is probably fine. Public order won't hit you too bad. Inns and drinking places. Oh, okay, so it'll make... Oh, so it'll make all my refectories cheaper. So that's good. So now we're trading iron... And beer. More beer and golden idols and okay cool uh, so we're trading with Ostermark now so that'll hurt our trade a little bit and they're taking all of it though so that's nifty hey Kieslev we've got more beer Porter Princes uh, we can trade with the undead ha <laughs> uh, they still just only really care Kieslev. about the red eye thing my glacial majesty. I would love to trade with you guys. Barak Var and the dwarves would trade with us, but we're not next to them. If we go take these guys out, we'll be next to the dwarves and can trade with them, but do you guys Welcome, friends of the Dowie! Where's You have one settlement. Shit or get off the pot! And I... What are you guys doing? Welcome, Ken. I mean you're surrounded on all sides by enemies and me. Shit heals. Well, good. I'm glad that worked for you, Sniper. I didn't want to specifically say we'd talked about that, but... Yeah, no, definitely check him out. Like I said, I'm not sure what you, what you play all the time, but... I'm all for people sharing views. Hell, a lot of my... A lot of my uh, stream viewers are from uh, Revocane's stuff. And Grimeth, and Lethal, and... So we're all we're all kind of kind of watch the same stuff. Does everyone everyone plays something different? And a bad movie franchise. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, pain from a forty-eight hour week. 
your conquest oh, strike got a bunch of money for the hearts of your enemies taking over those settlements the wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side I have foreseen it an extra 5,000 of the golds for me well hell new chapter objective one dwarf fold at a time yeah a lot of people did uh, there must be more dwarf expeditions deployed. Let them take the regions in the High King's name and wipe out many grudges regarding those who stand against the dwarf race. In this way, the Karak Karazankor will return to its rightful glory. So with 3,000 gold a turn, we can almost make a second army. And we probably should have an army down here just in case the vampire counts decide to get shitty. They're actually improving. They like that we're not fighting the Bloody Spears. Or that we are fighting the Bloody Spears, and they like that we're bothering Templehof. Let us continue bothering Templehof. Um, if you guys had a hero we could do the thing to, that'd be great. Okay, Shaman. Nope. He still didn't do it. It's fine. Oh yeah, definitely. Not quite enough for a second army, because he won't have up upkeep reduction like a uh, Ungrim does. The Slayer in me seeks death. I mean, I could probably take these guys out with 15-something. I need to beat two more Orc and Goblin armies, or else we'll start getting grudges. Grudges! And we'll get more money and Oath Gold for it. No, 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 that's fine. One rag. Okay, so is marching better? Marching gets us there. The underway gets us significantly farther. To war. Oh yeah, definitely enough to max the army I have. I just didn't have a... Ah, upgrading Mount Godbad. Yes, please. Please. Thank you, Breeze. Uh, what do you want? Upgrade the garrison? Ooh, that'd be a good idea. Turns the Dwarf Warriors into Longbeards and adds three Thunderers. It's expensive. Character Drin's 3,200. And then that was five grand. I think that's something I want, though. Do you want anything? You want a toolmaker upgrade. That's not a huge concern right now. Yeah, that's a great card. Trin. Upgrade the barrack or the garrison. So even if we lose character Omar or Oakenhammer, we'll, we'll still have Zufbar. Because Zufbar will be very hard to take with all that shit. Multiple stacks, yeah, sure. But then they'll have to siege the walls down. Because it's not how big walls. The biggest walls. To keep, to keep the vampires out. And we're finally going to get Masters of Steel and Stone. It's been a long couple of turns. Sorry about that. Looks like I'm not going very fast, but we're kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're following the lore and stuff like that. Oh, crap. Yaru, you don't need to go that way anymore. For some reason, it counted me as having a character in Zifbar. RE7VR is amazing. Uh, my buddy Jay has that. And, uh, it's really cool. Like, in that first... Even even in the demo, like, when I got to the room with the fireplace, I was able to stick my head up in the fireplace. It was incredible. Uh, he said some of the fights were actually a little easier. You have more uh, tactical awareness. You should fire up Resident Evil 7 on this sometime. Play it again. With, like, the hyper graphics. This thing's a beast. Scrutinize the guild. What? I was looking at a thing. Oh, well, this could be good. I mean, that's not a huge. That's mm, that's that's actually pretty good. That'd be another. That'd be another hundred or two gold a turn. A reckoner has approached, requiring guidance on how to settle a dispute between two clans. Both are claiming ownership of a mine. One has remained loyal to you for centuries, and the other has opposed many of your edicts. So if we give it to the opposing clans, the act of generosity to your rival shows that you are as wise as Grungni. The clan will begrudge the jester, but will acknowledge its debt to you. And let's give it to the dwarves. I'm working on that. I have to re-download all that stuff now. Ready. Okay, you're... In... You should probably just stay up here. Ooh, I know what you should do. You what? should go start removing corruption in the Vampire Count area. It won't work very well, but... It's what we have. Ready to do the guild spending. Can you? Yeah. I have an idea. There it is. Shaman has an idea. That boost income going on. Okay. 
And then you need walls. Yeah, because you're level three. Okay. And that'll make me happy. Ready. And that. Beards in belts. Oh, nah. They might come try to kill us. Nah. If his army's not mostly goblins, we could be in trouble. Could be in trouble. But hey, we'll get a bunch more money. Also, he's recruiting, so he's getting three of something. Kind of depends on what their barracks look like there. That's the problem with cave hopping, is you can really walk into a shit pit. Vampire counts are stronger than us, but only a little bit. That's nice. <laughs> I should check out Stellaris sometime. That seems like fun. Oh, he came for it. So... There's some big ones. It's mostly just regular orcs. Oh, this is bad. It's not unwinnable, though. We're probably going to lose a lot of guys. Some of those seem a little too obtuse for me. 1,700 allies plus all that shit. We kill the Lord, we'll be in good shape. And we'll make him walk to us, which will maybe make him tired. Definitely the innovative hide in the corner strategy. Oh no, my catapults went the wrong way. Shit. Okay, you guys are silly. should be able to get set up before they get in range of the catapults. They didn't have any cavalry, so it will take them a long-ass time to get here. Which might wear them out if they're... Uh, they're not running. Damn. I was hoping they would run. Seems like they're getting set up. The amount of archers is slightly concerning, seeing as a lot of our guys are standing around in tattoos and bad attitudes. Uh... 
that's neat. Armors for people who are soft with a W. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII's an amazing soundtrack. What was I playing recently that had an incredible soundtrack? Actually, I was watching a uh, certain magical index. That has really good music in it. Also, uh, Mikoto Misaka is the cutest Sundare ever uh, in existence. And I will fight you. I really like that the uh, Karakadrin is red. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, the regular dwarfs are blue, which is, yeah, it's fine. Doesn't do much for me, though. Should probably, eh, should probably move up a little bit and get the Thunderers on there. Catapults are fine. Catapults are fine. But then, it's not like they'd have a better arc of fire. I mean, this is this is probably fine. This is probably fine. This is we're we're in trouble. This, this could be better. If you guys would start running. That'd be great. Uh, Gromrel, Gromrel is what you're thinking of, Fluffy. There are 72 billion orcs in this army. They're all working very hard. There's a nice little blob. All these fucking orc boys. Oh, this is gonna be great. Eh, I've seen better. They're getting up! What the fuck is that? Getting up. Do better. Get them. Right there. There. Thunders have shots. Target's 
world. Slayers! Squad runners! Take your targets well! Break these. Archers. Do you. Now you're not a war for boss. You're the actual. Ranging targets! Fighting the goblins. So that's all well and good. You guys need to get over here so you can start shooting. Hit them. That would be awesome. I don't know if you can. Please try to break some of them. That would be exceptional. Because this is going to break through and get into our shit. Ungram, you keep doing the boss is running away. Get in here. Get the old boss. Get into this shit. The clans unite! This war is fire! Down! Yes! Shah! Matrix! Oh my god. Broke that flank. That's amazing. I'm just beating the shit. Oh, because they're all running off on that side of the field. That's so great. Oh, that's amazing. Got these fucking archers. In there. Yeah, we lost these slayers, though. Thunderous! Shoot! Almost break them. In there. We demand blood. Yeah, most of our slayers are dead. Axes out! Yes, Lord! Yes! Drain them! Go get him, guys. My god, we're winning. Oh, that, that firepower. That's absurd. I mean, friendly fire is a thing, but... Anyone else left? I guess we're just waiting for them to run away. Uh, well, we still got rocks. We got a couple rocks. Oh, they're out of range. So we killed 1,500 for a loss of 500, and all the slayers except that one are dead. The grudge throwers killed 500 by themselves. That's ridiculous. It was a glorious victory. I mean, three armies. Come on. That's that's not bad. Oh, no. The Fluffy Beards died again. For, like, the third time. I think these were the Fluffy Beards. And I'd say, eh, a couple. Yeah, but think how much... M that's another 700 gold a turn we're going to have. <laughs> Bravo.
problem is getting up and getting to the army. Also, in these underway ambushes, it would be nice if you were able to wipe them out, but not so much. But we leveled up. This asshole... No, he didn't attack us. Okay. Now we have to be very careful. We can't just use the underway. We might get... Uh, I must fulfill my slayer oath. ...entrapped. Which would be super good and bad. We could encamp here, but that's way too expensive. So yeah, we'll just... My vows will be satisfied just head this way, this. I guess. He can come fight us, but we could kill him. Just our ranged units alone will wipe him out, so that's fine. Um, but he is gonna... No, don't do that. Don't do that. Come I'm moving. Start sorting out this. Oh, vampire counts took Templehof. That's that's no good. What needs to be done? Kill. Hey, we took out a, a, an assassin <laughs> or a, a necromancer. The scout watching Sylvania's border reports a chance encounter with a terrified Sylvanian peasant who lay hidden and witnessed the passing of a hideous army of the dead. At its head rode two fell figures on dead horses, one in crimson armor, the other robed in black. The armored figure slapped his mount's neck with a mailed fist and cursed into voices cold as death. Weeks of searching the mountain caves and still you fail to find what I desire. If you are wrong about the locations to the northwest, and we should find no dragon's corpse to serve me into death, I shall feast upon your soul. It seems that the Undead Lord is searching for new materials to use in his foul necromancy. It would seem that the dead have found at least two possible locations for what they seek, and are now moving to claim their vile prize. King Ungram marches from his hall, shouting for the throng to be assembled. In the meantime, you must decide which of the Undead Hordes his scout should track. Uh, let's go south. That. Move any character to the Wurtbad region. The scout watching Sylvania's border reports a chance encounter with yeah, that's that that. Okay, so we do that again. We get more money and more experiences. Ready to do the guild's um, bidding. The runes okay, so are ready. Wurtbad is the about is here. That's Talibim. Wurtbad is here. That's Wurtbad. So go there. Direction. The Thunderers survived. Oh yeah, no, the, all the all the skirmishers survived. They did, they did great. You guys feel you guys feel better. You guys feel better. Okay, good. Okay. We need to win one more battle against the Greenskins, which really sucks. We get up to Mount Gunbad. We can at least replenish them. Actually, you know what I ought to do. Uh, let's see, I already own you. Barodin is hurt for another two turns. Rune Lord's good. I'm ready. Vengeful Rune Lord. Um, we need... Uh, eight per turn, huh? How many more turns? Two turns. Okay. Uh, we'll I hope. Keep that normal then. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I can give you a thing. I can give you a Slayer Ward. That sounds good. Oh, also, we need to give Shaman By Gragni, this a Dwarven Bride. Uh, I don't really want any of these. I want more boost income. What do I need to be level? Level 5? Fine. You can have a Dwarven Bride. And you can have a Cooper. As I want you to make me some money. I just need to get you one more level. Okay, let's get you Lord guys just some Dwarven Warriors. That sounds like a good place to start. Ooh, we can get Longbeards. Where can we get Longbeards from? Oh, from uh, Zulfbar. Right, because they have a level 3. What do you want? I mean, it's expensive, but we're getting 4,000 gold a turn, and they're only an upkeep of 160. Fuck it. Get some longbeards. Longbeards are great. Longbeards have a character ability uh, worth of uh, morale that they give people. So, yeah. 3 o'clock. 
Let's see. What do we have for lore? Well, I guess, in fact, let's learn about Longbeards while we're here. Before Master we end the video. Boop. We'll just do the in-game one. Longbeards are veteran fighters of many wars, most resolute in their shield wall and grumpiest in spirit. Longbeards have fought in more wars, beaten more enemies, endured greater hardships than any young dwarf can possibly imagine. They constantly grumble about how today's goblins are false, far smaller and weedier than they used to be, and how nothing is well made as it was in their day. No young dwarf, as hot-headed and tempestuous as he might be, would dare gainsay a longbeard. After all, they have much more experience, and the beard to prove it. A longbeard unit in a battle line is likened to a reliable anchor bolt, or a bulwark, that stands fast and supports the other formations. Woe betide any beardlings who falter under the longbeard's stern, if roomy eyes, for they will be admonished within inches of their very lives. It might not be easy for other units to hold the battle line within earshot, earshot of a unit of longbeards, yet it is also a great honor that redoubles a dwarf's stoicism and even makes beardlings eager to prove themselves, or at least not to give the longbeards any further ammunition against them. So they get a charge defense versus large with all orcs, uh, dwarves do. They have encouraged, so their leadership bonus provides uh, gets provided to nearby allies. Uh, and it's either theirs or the lord's, whichever's largest, and they are completely immune to fear and terror, because... Oh, you call that a zombie? Bullshit. I'll show you a zombie, you cocky upstart, son of runty bastard. Anyway. Didn't realize I could do that. Boy, that bothers me. I just all to, all to hell. Um. Anyway, that's the end of that video. I'll see you guys next time.